Listen, I I just want to be a hobbit. Can I have that? Uh, Welcome back to Speed Build Saturday. I'm your host, Fake Gamer Girl, and the way that I said that made this sound way more professional than it actually is. Wow, I sounded really animated there, but I actually don't feel very well today, so don't expect the same amount of enthusiasm as we continue. <laughs> Listen, everybody has their happy place, and if you don't have your happy place, then you, not everybody has their happy place, but I do, and I'm not feeling too well today, so I like to not mentally re Rest, but I like to mentally retreat into a little happy space. And for me, ever since I was a little girl, was always the Shire from the Lord of the Rings. Like, how could I not? Like, I have not met a single person that's ever seen the film that has said, no, the Shire isn't cozy. The Shire isn't lovely. The Shire isn't the most ideal idea of life ever. Like, what a hobbit to do? Do they even have taxes? I don't even think they pay taxes. They just sit around, they water their gardens, they get their produce, and they don't even have, like, really difficult working day. So I don't know how the agricultural situation over there is going. I don't know how their economy works. And I don't even think they know how it works because to them, it doesn't matter. Because all they do is they water their plants, they drink a bunch of alcohol, but don't abuse the alcohol and they eat a lot of food and have a great time. And I just want to be one. Where, where do I sign up? Like why? Okay, here's the thing. Hobbits, the Shire was made by a person, Mr. Tolkien himself, right? And he thought of this idea in his head and he wrote it down. He got his little fingertips on his little typewriter and tippy tappy it away and thus the hobbit was born, right? If we as human beings can come up with that as a fictional setting, why can't we just make it reality? Like, I don't know. I have, I can't think of a single person who would say no to this. You don't even have to be social. Like Bilbo Baggins did not even like people, but he still enjoyed living his life in the Shire. You know what I mean? Like it works for everybody. He just had a little sign out of his house that said, I don't fuck with any of y'all. Please don't bother me unless you're bringing some parties over. And everybody just kind of respected that. I don't fucking know. Like, why don't we have that? You don't even need to be rich in this world. You're already rich from friendship and food. And I bet they don't even have to pay for gas and electric because they didn't even have it back then. You know what I mean? This was supposed to be my happy place and I'm getting upset now. <laughs> There's gonna be one person watching this video that has never seen The Lord of the Rings and doesn't know what a hobbit is and doesn't know what I'm on about and they have been profusely confused for the past two minutes and they have probably clicked off and if it, you are that person, if that is you, thank you for staying. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I could just go to this mic and say the most incoherent string of words, like not even grammatically correct, not even English, not even a language. And some of you would still stay to the very end. And I don't know if that's out of morbid curiosity or if you are the one that needs actual mental help. I feel like at this point, we all do. We all need help. And you know what? That's totally okay, by the way. Like this is a safe space for the mentally ill. I <laughs> Why am I so giggly? I thought I didn't feel well today. But listen, I would like to encourage people that if you need help to reach out and get that help, there's no shame in it. Just don't uh, reach out to me because I, I can't help you. <laughs> and sometimes, unfortunately, you're in situations where you cannot really get the help. Maybe the person that you rely on isn't available or emotionally available right now, or maybe you just can't afford to get any therapy or whatever. And by the way, this is I'm not like leading into an advertisement. I'm being fucking dead serious. You'd fucking catch me dead before I ever promote something like better help. Better help? Better help. What was it called again? You know what? It's probably best that I don't know. Anyway, sometimes you're not able to get that help, and the most that you can do is cope. And the way that I cope, my um, preferred choice of copium is building something really cozy in The Sims, and that is what I have brought to you today. And I get to share this. I probably wouldn't recommend the sharing aspect unless you really want to. And I'm not saying that sharing your builds is a bad thing, whether you post it on Reddit or Twitter or just show a friend or whatever. It's just sometimes there are gonna be some really mean people that would say, oh. I, I wouldn't have built it like that. Wow, did you use that choice of wallpaper? Like, you should die. Anybody who uses that couch does not deserve to be alive. Like, you know, so this community can be a little crazy sometimes. You have no idea what the next um problem is gonna be. Let's just start there. Which, by the way, recently, let's get into some tea, which I don't like doing, but I, I really do. <laughs> recently, there has been a lot of discourse on Sims Twitter, as there always is, and I, I'm probably gonna take another social media break because, oh my god, my mental health goes down so fast the moment I use social media. Anyway, there has been a lot of discourse on whether you should upload a build to the gallery if you haven't play tested it. And let me just say, before we continue with this conversation, and by conversation, I mean me talking at you because it takes two to have a conversation. And yeah, you can write in the comments of which I encourage you to do because I want to know what you think. It's not a conversation. It's not. It's just me here. I never play test my builds. I don't. Sorry. I just, I built to make it look nice. I, I don't imagine I'd ever play in this house, for example. I just like to build houses 
houses, take pretty pictures, and then close the game. Hell, most of the time, I boot up the game to make a pretty sim, take pretty pictures in a pretty house with that sim in the house, and then I close the game. Sometimes I do not even play the game. I mean, that's my way of playing the game, but you know what I mean? <laughs> I just, I am autistic. That That's your answer. But anyway, back to the topic at hand. Some people were very, very upset about people not testing their builds. Like, a lot of people would say, like, there is literally no point. You're ruining the gallery. Some people were making some, like, very, very veiled threats. I don't know. It was so crazy. And then there's the other people who are like, wow, you are so entitled if you expect your builds to be play tested. You are a narcissist, blah, blah, blah. Like, it went, it went kind of crazy. And I feel like, you know, personally, I do think that both sides are valid. But my take, right? Get this. This is crazy. I Like, this is this is wild. It's It doesn't fucking matter. It's not that serious. It's not that serious. Like, you know, sometimes, you know, I get, I get it. Sometimes I download a build from the gallery because I don't feel like building. There's some very, very talented builders out there. And the entire house is done with a tool mod, which isn't a problem in itself. But that means like basically the house is unusable. So when I try to, you know, play my game in the build, it's not working. There's no pathfinding. None of the objects work. Half of the time, the stairs aren't even fucking real. And, you know, I get the frustration, but also get this. I, I just delete the build and go find another one. Because if I'm on the gallery anyway, I am not building. I'm not in the mood to build. And I am basically, like, the way I see it is I feel like I have, like, a little mug with spare change just clackling in there. And I'm like, please, just a morsel of a build. I don't feel like building, please. And it feels like a charity sometimes when you go into the gallery. And you could just, boom, instantaneously have, like, the best fucking build in your world. I didn't work for this. I didn't do anything for that. So while I get that it's annoying, also, it's not that serious. It's a game. You know what I mean? Like, like, I always used to get really confused when I would see, like, gamer boys playing their shooters and stuff. And I'm not saying that only boys play shooters. I play shooters. And you get the fuck. I'm trying to paint a mental image for you. Okay, don't come after me. And they start, like, cursing and raging and saying, like, racial slurs because they died in a video game. And I'm like, it's not that serious. Like, what? That's hella cringe. And then the same thing happens in a casual game. And I'm like, at least we didn't die. You know what I mean? Like, I'd expect a visceral reaction if you lost all your saves. Like, if for some reason reason you downloaded a build from the gallery and it was broken your entire save corrupted like then i'd understand a little bit of the the vitriol but like girl come on like go outside go outside it's not that bad and i'm not saying that it's not okay to have complaints girl you know if you've if you've been here before you know i have complaints i love to complain <laughs> but that's not my point i think you are valid in wanting to complain and say hey it's a little bit annoying when this happens but like coming after people is something i will never understand i don't know how many of you have been on the receiving end of being bullied or even having somebody just spew random shit at you online. Sometimes it feels worse online. And this, uh, this is coming from somebody who was like profusely bullied in like my entire childhood. It sucks. Like, why would you do that to somebody else? Like, I know sometimes you get a little angry and you know, you're behind the computer screen, but come on. I shouldn't have to explain that to any of you. And you know, you can bully me. That's fine. I mean, it's not, but like, I know most of you are gonna do it anyway. But you know, I think, you know, sometimes in this community, we need to take a step back and be like, you know what? We're all playing the same game. I like this game. You like this game. And that's, that's great. Why don't we bond over that? Like, where's the enemies to lovers plot? Where is that? Why can't we have that? Why does it always have to be enemies to enemies to, oh, you're canceled on Twitter. Oh, that you're blah. You know, imagine, right? You have the simmer who's just looking for a build desperate to be able to play in their game. And they download this build, right? Get that they download this build and it doesn't work. And they're upset. So they go find the person who built that build build and they just lay into them and they're like I hate you you should die blah 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 and the other one's like you you suck too and I don't like you and then they lock eyes and then just for a moment everything is gone all the troubles and then they kiss imagine that like that's way better let me write the plot for your lives because you guys cannot be trusted <laughs> I think that things work out better when I tell you what to do and then you guys just listen to whatever I tell you to do which is why every single week on this channel we have a build competition where I give you guys a prompt you guys build it upload it to the gallery and then I reviewed those builds in a video. Using the hashtag that shows up on the screen right now, I want you guys to build me something that is from a TV show or a movie. Try to replicate this build as closely as you possibly can. It can be anything from horror films to rom-coms, action movies, etc. Recreate the friend's apartment or Bilgo- the Bilgo? Bilbo Baggins' house. You get the gist, the sky's the limit. The deadline to submit your builds is gonna be Saturday, December 30th, so get your build in by then. And please double check the spelling of the hashtag because once again, if you don't spell it right, then you've heard the whole spiel before. I don't need to do it again.
It's gonna be the last Sims build competition you ever submit to before the end of the year. And then it'll be a new year, and then it will literally be no different than the year before, and it's gonna be crazy. I don't know what it is, but when I was a kid and it was the new year, I really did feel like a new person. Like, I felt like I was entering a different world every single time. Like, hyping things up when you're a kid really, really works. Like, everybody's going on about the new year, and you have time off school, and then there's fireworks in the air, and it, feel, it really feels like something. But when you're an adult, it's the, it's the same old, same old shit every single time. Sometimes it's gonna be a good year, sometimes it's gonna be a bad year. On average, they're all pretty much the same. Now, I'm not saying that celebrating the new year is bad or it doesn't put things into perspective because it is really nice because I feel like life would get so exhausting if we didn't have a calendar. Like, I don't know. I feel like, oh, it's just to the end of this week, just to the end of this month, just to the end of this year. Like, I feel like if we did not have any benchmarks or milestones, I think we'd all go insane. I don't know why. I can't imagine life like that. I do think that it is a really nice thing, though, that at least most cultures do celebrate a new year's of some sorts because it's like, if you've had a bad year, you at least have the illusion that the next one could be better, or at least it gives you the motivation to pick yourself up after like a restart, you know what I mean? Which is why it always confuses me that spring cleaning is in spring, because like, that's like halfway through the year almost, why would you want to start cleaning then? Why don't we have a fresh start, not at, oh, halfway, let me, let me fix this up, or maybe that's better, I don't know, it just never made sense to me. Unless people feel more inclined to clean during spring, and then that's why they do spring I have like, I'm never inclined to clean. I do clean, and I kind of like clean. I like having clean things. Maybe I don't like cleaning, but I like a a living in a clean space. Otherwise, I would literally go insane. But I don't think there's a time of the year where I'm like, yeah, this is the perfect time for cleaning. There is no perfect time for cleaning. You know what there is no perfect time for? Laundry. I fucking hate doing the laundry. The dishes and laundry are the two fucking chores I hate the most. You can tell that I am like in my mid-20s now because I am just ranting about chores, talking about it like it's a daily occurrence because it is. This is what life is. If you're young, they don't teach you, but your life is not going to be all about, oh, having a big career and living a cosmopolitan life, traveling the world. No, it's mostly doing dishes and never making your bed unless guests are over. That's what your life is going to be and nobody prepared you for that. And let me just say the best piece of advice I could probably ever give you is if you don't know how to clean when you're young, learn young. Learn how to clean. I swear it will save your life because you don't want to be in your mid-20s still not knowing how to properly clean your house and everything's a mess and you hate where you live. You do not want to do that. So please, if there's anybody that can teach you how to clean a bathroom, clean a kitchen, clean your ass, learn it. It will make your life so much easier. I promise you. Add that to the list of things I was just never taught. I know some schools have something like I think it's called home ec or something like that. Or maybe I'm getting the name confused because my school did not have any one of those programs where they just taught you how to cook and how to clean and how to like take care of a home. Maybe it's because they know we're never going to be homeowners. But still, like when you move out of Eventually, you're gonna have to be responsible for your entire living space and entire living situation. If you don't know how to clean and cook, then how are you gonna take care of yourself? And The Sims makes it look so fucking easy. Like, what do you mean it takes two seconds to clean the bathtub? No, it doesn't. Like, if you leave it for that long that it looks as gross as it does in The Sims, it's not gonna take you like 10 seconds to clean that up. That's gonna take you a whole day. Did you know that our Lord and Savior, The Sims 2, had a cleaning skill? And when I was a kid, I did not understand that at all. I thought that is the weirdest skill ever. It's not a skill. It is. Oh my god. Like now that I'm a grown up, I'm like, I see why they did that now. It was in The Sims 1 as well. I will not forget her. In a way, I'm glad we don't have that skill anymore. But at the same time, it just, it makes so much more sense. Anyway, we're basically at the end of the build now. So thank you for sticking around. But don't go anywhere because there is going to be a lovely little montage where I show off the entire house in all of its glory. I'm super happy with it. And I'm super happy to have you guys.